of action and the ra rain will stay well away. They're circling at the start, won't be too long now before this opener. Wide open betting race, three to one favorite is one of the horses with experience in the field. That's number 40, Desert Halo, who finished third at Tallow last month. But there's plenty of newcomers here who, co who, co who could cause or pose him some trouble. So, white flags raised, off and racing. The 2023 Lismore races commence with this four-year-old maiden. The field have just under the three circuits and 15 fences to take in all today's contests. They go now quickly on now to the first fence, which will eventually bring them round into the back straight and over number one, they've all taken it safely. And Crocodile Lounge for the Kenny families out there in the lead in the early stages. Coming through into second spot on the inside is always a reason. Also not too far away is Amber Jack. And another one who is prominent is Quebecois. They're the first four. Fifth place is Queensbury Boy, representing the Dennis Murphy team who won this race 12 months ago. And also in the leading pack towards midfield at the moment are the likes of Highway Jack and another one racing towards midfield is Magical King. So they go now towards the end of the back straight and they're swinging towards the cross fence on the town side and at the moment it is James Kenny on Crocodile Lounge just with a small advantage in second place is always a reason this one for the Mark Scallon team coming to the fence in third place then in the red jacket making his way through is Desert Halo after Desert Halo is Quebecois and that one in turn is tracked down the inside by Highway Jack the raider for the Rob James team so to the two fences now, up the home straight before the winning post area. And precious little at the moment to choose between Crocodile Lounge and Always a Reason. They remain one and two. They're stacking up in behind with third, fourth, and fifth, the likes of Highway Jack with Queensbury Boy and out wider Co Quebecois. So at this next one, and again, all take it safely to so the order. Having covered about a mile is that Crocodile Lounge, con conti Co Crocodile Lounge continues to share the lead with always a reason. A length then back to in third place on the outside is Quebecois. Followed in fourth down the inside there in the light blue jacket, that's Magical King. And then in the center is Desert Halo. A couple of lengths in turn to Brian Hassel's runner in this contest, uh, who races towards midfield in the yellow is Amber Jack. And after that one also towards midfield is quarter, Castle Quarter King. So to fence number six, and as they come to this one, always a reason, continues up there and lands away from the fence in company with Crocodile Lounge. In third place is Desert Halo. Fourth down the inside is Magical King. And fifth on their outside is the Chestnut Quebecois. Back then to sixth place, and we find Dara Allen on Amber Jack, and he keeps company with Queensbury Boy. After Queensbury Boy, also there towards uh, the middle of the field is Foxy Walk, and in turn that one is fo followed by Alt and Curran. This one owned and trained by James Hannan. Alt and Curran is the Irish place name for Burton Port up in Donegal. And after that one, towards the back end of the field at the moment is Castle Quarter King. So they've all managed to get round the first half of the contest and now swing left-handed. They've got eight more to jump. And as they come to the cross fence, it is just Crocodile Lounge. Half a length to the good from in second place as they rise at this one. Always a reason. Crocodile Lounge, always a reason. Third position traveling well is Quebecois. Fourth in the red jacket. Desert Halo in the hands of Chris O'Donovan. And then there's a further length and a half to Magical King. And then Queensbury Boy sits in midfield with Amber Jack. So as they come to the fence, seven from the finish. Crocodile Lounge is in front and both moseying along comfortably at the moment. Tracked a couple of lengths down now in second place by always a reason. Third position is Quebecois, which means a citizen of Quebec. And 
He's representing the Doyle team, who had a couple of winners yesterday up the north. And over the next one, a slight mistake out the back there from Castle Quarter King, but Tom Feeney sat tight. So a lap to go, five to jump, the order of the moment. Crocodile Lounge, is, his advantage is whittled down to half a length. On the outside, Quebecwa. Down the inside, a close third remains always a reason. They're being followed fourth, sticking tight to the inside, his magical king in the light blue jacket on his outside. We have got Desert Halo, sixth position, sits Queensbury Boy and Jimmy Dunn, and a couple of lengths then to Amber Jack, who at the moment is sitting in seventh, just ahead of Autumn Curran. And then further back towards the rear of midfield, you've got the likes of Highway Jack, also towards the back end of the field, uh, remains Foxy Walk, and the tail ender is Castle Quarter. They've got four to jump as they go to the fence on this side of the track on the roadside and still in front is Crocodile Lounge he's up there to be shot at but he's putting in, put up a good show here for the Kenny family and jumps at the next one neatly so Crocodile Lounge slowly upping the ante coming with him is Quebecwa three and four right on the premises with every chance, chance are Queensbury Boy and Desert Halo and this quartet in turn are being followed by Magical King who's a close fifth and sixth and seventh also in with a shout here are Amber Jack and also trying to make a bit of ground now on the outside is Alton Curran for James Hannon so here's the third last fence Quebecwa lands in unison away from that one with Crocodile Lounge. They now are pumping on the pace. They've gone on by four lengths. Under the pump in the third position is Queensbury Boy. And as they head for home now, they've got two to jump. And it is Quebecwa on the outside, just about landing in front. So it's Quebecwa with the advantage. The long-time prominent Crocodile Lounge comes under pressure. Here comes Queensbury Boy, who's finding his feet in the closing stages. Quebecwa from Queensbury Boy. Back in third place is Magical King. Here's the final fence. Quebecwa taken on by Queensbury Boy. Queensbury Boy is coming home very strongly on the outside for Jimmy Don. Quebecwa tries to fight back, but it's all about the Dennis Murphy newcomer, Queensbury Boy. Came from a position about five lengths down at the third last to get up and defeat Quebecwa. They were followed about five lengths back in third then by Magical King and one who made late headway from the tail of the field to be about fourth was Foxy Walk and then the long-time leader Crocodile Lounge followed by Desert Halo who was home in sixth. The result of the first race, first number 25, second number 45, third number 43. Number seven was fourth, 25, 45, 43. Number seven was fourth. The distances were one length, four and a half lengths, and four lengths. One length, four and a half lengths, and four lengths.
the second race, the five and six year old Geldings Maiden, sponsored by Pegasus Horseweeds. There are nine runners. The runners and riders, number two, Mr. J.W. Hannon. Number eight, Mr. J.L. Scallon. Number 14, Mr. D.H. Allen. Number 22, Mr. J.G. Murphy claiming five. Number 23, Mr. A.J. 